What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Pokemon TCG Show over on Midnight Media TV. I am your host, Concept the God, over on Twitch. You can find the rest of my socials down in the description for this video. But today, we are having a little bit of fun opening some older products. We've got a Porygon GX box, which actually, I think the Porygon Z is a very underrated card. Uh, great health points, great damage. Um, and we've got a couple Unified Minds and Evolutions and a Lost Thunder pack in here. And then we're going to open up one of these uh, Rebel Clash blisters that we decided to pick up as well. Uh, we really like Rebel Clash. We've had some great pulls from Rebel Clash. So, you know, might as well give it a little love. Um, and then I hope in the next, you know, uh, while we're working on this new studio here, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a different setup. Um, we're trying to work this kind of my new apartment, my new uh, setup going to be where my studio is. So uh, hopefully we can get this all kind of cleaned up and finished soon. But we're still opening cards. I know we are like a week behind on videos right now. But hopefully on the channel this will be up before Darkness Ablaze comes out. Uh, because I really want to get into some Darkness Ablaze. Once that happens to come out, I gotta find out where the pre-release is gonna be, so I can get a couple building battles. But uh, yeah, I think we'll have a little bit of fun with this. Let's go ahead and get a close up here on the Porygon Z. I did find this at a local Walmart. Uh, I've been trying to search around since everyone's been talking about certain things that are kind of popping back up into stores, talking about a Hidden Fates reprint. Um, you know, a lot of goodness. But it, well, you can tell they don't even have the little back piece to make it easier to get out of here. This is definitely an older box. Let's see if we can get this Porygon out of here. But, you know, we're, we're just trying to do our part and have a little fun and enjoy kind of what's going on in the, the Pokemon TCG world. Eh, this is, as always, kind of a hassle to get out of these boxes. Whew, there we go. That's a little better. Just don't like to mess up my, my cards. Here's a code for anybody that would like the code. If it wants to focus. Yeah, I guess that's all right. And then we've got the Porygon. Ooh, does not look like it's in bad condition. I like my Raichu Hidden Fates GX10 that I got. Um, definitely like the Porygon. Don't have this in my collection as of yet, so it's kind of cool to see. Let's get a focus going on that. I love the uh, colors. Really stood out when I saw it at Walmart. I was really like, yo, gotta pick this up. I mean, it was looking really cool. It was looking at me like, yo, come save me, bro. Uh, so, you know, had to do that. Let me see this guy real quick and then uh, let's bust into it. Not to mention, still adding cards to the oversized foil uh, deck as we're trying to get. <laughs> me and my girlfriend are trying to get a full deck of oversized foils. We really like these. We think they're really, really darn cool. Um, eventually display them somewhere. I will say this one's like really darn good. A lot of the times we get the oversized foils and they are just the worst cut. They are terribly centered. This actually is looking really good. It does have a little something here, so hopefully these packs weren't, uh, you know, weighed and resealed, but we'll see. Got a couple Unified Minds. I do like Unified Minds. I'm trying to start a collection. Um, I'm a little late to this because I have such a bad habit of picking stuff up and then wanting to immediately open it. Um, trying to get some Evolutions, some Lost Thunder, uh, some of these other ones. I mean, luckily Evolutions is pretty, pretty out there. But Unified Minds and a couple of these other ones are getting harder to find. Um, so, actually, you know what? Let's start with Unified Minds. Now that I'm thinking about it. And, uh, yeah, let's jump into this. If you guys can, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we're trying to get up to 100 subscribers right now. Um, if we can get up to 100 subscribers, we'll hopefully open up uh, another Build and Battle box. Hopefully we can open up some Darkness Ablaze if that happens to be what's going on by then. Um, we will see. We don't really know. So... Kind of one of those things we're trying to figure that out as we go play it by uh play it by ear because we're like i said we're moving into a new apartment still unpacking doing what we can so um let's see here i'm gonna say a fire energy darkness close oh nice uh cresselia I do like cresselia nice poke a cherish ball i'm hoping i see one of these in the tin form very soon i think these are really cool cherish ball we got a tauros we got a dew powder. We already saw that. Oh, get that some. Already saw that bad boy in there. Nice. A Dredgagon. All right. We got the 3D Dredgagon. Let's see. Cottony. We're still looking for the Mew Mewtwo. Uh, Fomantis. A Suwaddle. Reverse Hollow Pidove. And looks like a non hollow Leaveny. Not too not too great there. The Pidove is definitely not the uh, reverse hollow of the century. 
but I'm not gonna put you down. Not gonna put you down. Alright, let's go with the other unified mines. I think, I want to say the best thing we've pulled from Unified is probably the Giratina Garchomp uh, tag team. I did like that. I thought that was a really, really good pull uh, at the time. Definitely excited about it. Let's go card. Make sure I actually show the code card because that's a, that's a hard thing to do sometimes. All right, four, I'm going to say water energy on this bad boy. Oh, steel. All right, we've got a Tornadus. Actually, I really like Tornadus. I'd love to see a GX of one of those pop up soon. Got a Jinx. Got a Slumbering Forest. Slumbering. Lickitung for 100. I do like this Lickitung art. This is actually a really, really cool Lickitung art. Got a Purloin. I like Purloin too. What a sneaky little bastard. Uh, got a Magmar. Got a Tynamo. Got a Cosmog. Carablast and a non hollow Araquanid. So, Unified Mind's not really coming through too, too hard on this. Um, nothing really to, to write home about out of those. Just a couple reverse hollows. And that's it. Alright, let's jump into evolutions. We do like evolutions. We seem to have a lot of luck with evolutions. Um, definitely one of my new favorite sets, especially because it's got the classic artwork. Um, they have the reprints of like Charizard and some of those Pokemon in it that you know people are, are looking for, and I think they're they're really fun. Uh, try and stay up with them as much as I can. Code card for you, and then and they don't give you energies. I like that. No energies. Like no, nah, we're not giving you energies. You want energies? Go buy a trainer box. All right, we got ourselves a Nidorino. Or, actually, sorry, I, I stand corrected. They do have energies, but these are the kind of energies they throw in there, which is actually really nice to see. Let's see, a Sand Shrew. An Onyx. Magic Harp. Eating a little shrimpy. Or actually, a little worm on a hook there. About to get caught. Another energy. All right, maybe they are throwing some energies in here. The Star U. Reverse Hollow Ghastly. And looks like it's going to be a non hollow Bee Drill. We do not like Beedrill as much as we used to. But I do like these reverse hollows. These are pretty cool. Alright, let's see. One more out of this Porygon box. Starting to wonder if these <laughs> were resealed in white. But who knows? I'm not going to drive back out to this Walmart to find out, I'll tell you that. This was a Walmart in the middle of nowhere out here in uh, Pennsylvania. Got ourselves a code card. Code. Code cured, if you will. Alright, let's see. I think it's four. I hope so. Yes, water energy. Oh, I was going to say water too. Should have said it. Lost Blender. Got ourselves a custom catcher. Hitmon Top. I love Hitmon Top. What a nice Pokemon. Marini. Snubble. A hey, snub, snub. Getting snubbed by this box so far. Maybe Ribble Clash would be nicer to a Slugma. Pick a peck. Pick a peck of pickles. Bruxish. Reverse Hollow is going to be an Eevee. Hey, we like Eevee. And then a non hollow Tangrowth. So, definitely not the box of the century. Probably weighed the packs and returned it back to Walmart. Hey, or, you know, could have just been a, a bad box. But considering we didn't even get a hollow rare, that's a little rough. Definitely the age of the Pokemon card coming back to get you nowadays. Alright, well let's jump with this. Well, at least get the Rayquaza promo. Um, I do like Rayquaza. We pulled that in Rayquaza EX. If you haven't seen that video, it'll probably be linked in the back after this. But we'll say we, we opened up one Roaring Skies. I bought a, uh, a mystery box that said it was going to have a vintage pack in it. I don't personally consider Roaring Skies a vintage pack, but I was like, hey, Roaring Skies, not bad. Uh, not necessarily like a bad pack or anything. It's X Y, yeah. but uh, we happened to open that and got the uh, Emory Quaza EX very first try. So I was very happy about that at least. I'm trying to get this card out of here. Oh, damaging it! My gosh, I really don't like you to pull the cards out very well. I will say, if you can see that hollow, it is really, really nice. It's got a very, very cool shine to it. There you go. You can kind of see some of the some of the stars and the bubbles around it. Rayquaza is just a just an awesome Pokemon, man. All right, there's a code card for anybody that wants it. And let's see. 
I'm going to start with this guy. Cinderace, will you be kind to us? How are we feeling today? Let's see if we can pull ourselves something good out of this. Out of one of these packs, who knows. Code card. So far we ain't got nothing. Which is alright. Sometimes that's how it rolls. Let's say fire energy. Oh, Steel. Steel likes to get us. Got ourselves a scoop up net. Got a hair across. An electrode. Giving you that wink. Saying, hey, like and subscribe, my guy. Got a stuffle. We have got a coughing. And an impidimp. A shinx. We like shinx too. What a nice little thing. Got a sandy ghast. Reverse hollow is going to be a bronzog. And a non hollow butterfree. So, yeah, we are. We are lacking the pools tonight so far. But hey, that is alright. That is alright. We got two more. Let's see if we can get some. See if we can get a little something, something. Um, hopefully in the next couple days we've got a, uh, a Zamazenta tin that we, we need to open because we did the Zacian. Same thing. Not necessarily a very friendly box. Definitely didn't, didn't hook us up with much uh, when we were doing it. But hey, I mean, it is what it is. It's not something that we're like, you know, completely basing everything off of sometimes you just don't have the luck of the draw i mean we had great luck yesterday with hidden fates just 110 got the uh, legendary birds finally it took us a while we've got a couple more uh, hidden fates tins coming i love hidden fates it's like my favorite set right now um fire oh i did too many cards but we got ourselves a colossal for the for the rare all right let's see we'll just go through these real quick Lampet, Metacham, Beware, Clefairy, Foltorb, Nosepass, Wingo, Phantom, and a Reverse Hollow, Capacious Bucket. Capacious Bucket. Mm. Alright, at least we got a Hollow. <laughs> we finally got a Hollow. Six packs in, so hey, it happens that way sometimes. Sometimes that's just how it likes to roll. Though that seemed weird that that was... I'm pretty sure I did four, right? thought I did the right... The right card trick? Maybe I didn't. We'll see on this one. Got ourselves a code card. I thought it was four. Let's see. Fire. Nope, steel. Yeah, it was four. All right, Tranquil. Sonia. Got a Pelipper. We've got a Shinx. Got ourselves a Galarian Yamask. Sorry, I keep putting the card behind my, my screen here. Applin. Got a Hatena and Aracuda. Reverse Hollow Snorlax. Okay, we love Snorlax. Snorlax definitely one of our favorites. And then a non Hollow Obama Snow. Man, yeah, definitely uh, not great pulls today. I think we only got one Hollow out of all that. Um, I'm debating on opening. You know what? Let's do these two uh, blisters as well, just because this was a very lackluster pool. I can always get more Rebel Clash blisters. Not a not a problem with getting those, really. Probably not going to jump into Unified Minds. Depending on what we get here, this is just it. Um, so we'll see. We've been holding on to these blisters. We were going to open them in the last video until I had some technical difficulties. So let's see if we can get at least a GX or an Ultra Rare, because, man, that was... Uh, again, another painful opening. But it rolls like that sometimes. It's just how it rolls. Got to roll with the punches. Let's see. I'm going to say fire energy. Darkness? We have no fire coming out of here. Alright, we got ourselves a Luxio. Kevin Durant. A Palisand. We do like Palisand. Surprised there's not a rare in this set. Got a Squalvet. A Snova. Natu. Natu. Kaka. Me first, that's what I'm talking about. Got a Trubish. Got a Pidov. Oh, very nice. Reverse Hollow Grimmsnarl. I think we have one of these. Wait, is this Reverse Hollow? Yeah, it technically is. Not very hollowy, though. And then looks like a. Ooh, we got ourselves a Gold Frozmoth. A very, very nice. And the video is redeemed. That's what I'm talking about got ourselves a golden reverse or a golden uh, full art frozmoth oh, man I'm, I'm actually very happy about that i think that's the first gold uh, rebel clash card we got 
Haven't seen a lot of these. I haven't seen a lot of these pulled. I don't know what the price is off the top of my head, but man, what a nice card. Now, if that was the Galarian Perserker, I would cry. But very, very nice pull. Very nice. We're gonna go ahead and drop that guy in a sleeve. And... We'll put him right down here. Nice, for a second there I was worried this video was gonna have uh, very lackluster pulls. In. So far still lackluster, but that made up a lot of ground. I will say that, a lot of ground. All right, one more blister to go. Let's see what we can get. And to think, I was saving this guy just hanging it up on the wall for a while there. All right, let's go. Got a code to him. Let's do four and fire. I'm going fire all the way. Oh, still dark. <laughs> it is a dark one out there, boys. All right, we got ourselves a beware. We like beware. Good poke. Got a speed energy. Speed lightning energy, sorry. Pelipper speed energy. Got a Padove. Galarian Darumaka. Got a Hatena. Hatena. Scyther. Scyther Psy. We like Scyther. Got ourselves a Nose Pass. Reverse Holo Dreepy. Alright, we don't have a Reverse Holo Dreepy, actually. That's nice for the collection. And then a non hollow Butterfree again. Butterfree, you're killing me. I like Frozmoth a lot more than I like you right now, but that's alright. Definitely not a bad poke. Alright, uh, did not get much for pools out of these, I will say that. But, for what we did get, I am not disappointed with the Frozmoth. I think other than that, we got a Colossal and the Rayquaza that came with it, and the, uh the uh, Porygon Z card, but yeah, not much else to talk about. I'll take the Golden Frozmoth, though. Definitely will take that. I think that's, uh, in my opinion, probably worth the, the whole pool right here, at least. So, hey, we're getting a couple gold. Definitely making some ground. Uh, definitely glad we decided to open up those blisters. Definitely glad. Alright, yeah, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks again for watching another Pokemon card opening. We'll have another one next week, uh, or in a couple days, like I said. We've got a Zamazenta V10. We've got uh, a couple build and battle kits. I don't know what exactly where we're going to open. There's a Shining Legends thing, too, that we have. Like I said, Hidden Fates is coming on Sunday. I don't know. We have a lot of stuff coming. Um, just a lot of stuff that's also delayed, and I don't know where it is in the mail. So we'll see. Uh, but right now, yeah, just hitting up Target, doing what I can to keep you guys... Uh, fed some content as best I can and uh, super happy about the Frost Moth, I will say. Very, very excited about that. So yeah, well you guys have a good night, have a good week, have a good day, have a good everything. We'll see you next time on the Pokemon TCG Show on Midnight Media TV. Peace out, one love.